part of uh, this journalist. More simulation than any, uh, than a casual game, than a casual <coughs> racing game, I would say. Uh, what's the difference with Forza 4? Well, again, some of the secret of Forza Motorsport 4 is that we have a huge casual gaming community that are playing it all the time. Uh, for me, it's about being clever with design, that we don't have to sacrifice simulation in order to make fun gameplay. And the reason for that is, uh, I think, honestly, there's an outdated, antiquated view that you're either one type or the other type. But I think that's just poor design. What we've designed as a game that at its heart is very, very accurate simulation, but then we add assists that make it easier. But easy doesn't make it fun. What makes it fun is a variety of modes, like top tier bowling and the single player. We have passive car challenges. We have a variety of cars, and it's a sandbox where you can experiment with those cars. And I think that's why we actually do have tons of kids playing the game. We have people thinking about it in other ways. Now, I do believe when people enter the game, and all they do is they think it's a simulator, so they go into the game, and they turn all the assists off, and they get into a Ferrari, and they crash. Well, yes, because they turned all the assists off. But if you go through the career, play the world tour, it's going to guide you like Yellow Brick Road in uh, Wizard of Oz. It's going to guide you to Oz. 